Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and in this video we are doing another recipe for the awesome collaboration from Mary Ellen over at Prepper Potpourri for the Spam Timber. Like this is just fun month because there's so many cool recipes and if you look down in the description you're going to get a link to every single channel that's participating and you need to go over there and watch their videos. Be sure and like and subscribe and comment because if you comment your name will be in a drawing for one of these awesome this is just the coolest thing it's actually a lunch meat cutter but it's the perfect size for spam check it out so if you're going to do a lot of recipes this is the way to go and i'm actually using this and i think two recipes that i'm doing for this month out of my four so i use that thing it's awesome you can do all kinds of stuff with it but for this recipe i'm going to be making their uh, spam crunchy um, bites like they're so good so they're super simple too I'm just gonna tell you what we got to do real quick first of all you got to heat your oven to 350 you're gonna need a pan I I really like the kind that have the rack in the bottom because it holds things up and they can brown a little bit more evenly I think um, of course a can of spam and in my recipes I'm gonna be using the light uh, this one it has 50% less fat, which I noticed I needed to use some oil in one of my recipes because there's not as much fat coming out of the spam. 25% less sodium and 33% less uh, fewer calories, and this is what I need. So I'm using that, but there's all kinds of different spam. There's bacon flavored, there's turkey spam, there's hot spam, just all kinds of spam. And probably they would all be good with this, but so I'm going to use this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in 16 long pieces, so they're like little fingers, okay? The other thing you need is one cup of flour, which I have here, and then you need a third a cup of milk and four eggs, which I have here, and it's all mixed together in the middle, um, the little container. And then you need, it says like six cups of, basically it's like cornflake cereal, but I like to use the crumbs like these little coating mix. I love them because you can do all kinds of things with them. Um, so many great recipes on this box. And so, and plus, I'm not gonna use any measurement. I'm just gonna pour out what I think I need as I need it. This way I'm not wasting. And you know, when I got to look at this box, I saw all these cool recipes, and I thought to myself, maybe I need to do a collaboration of box recipes and see if we can all come up with uh, some awesome box recipes so that might be something but here I have you could also um, do a setup like this with just bowls it doesn't matter I just happen to have this super cool little coating system I think I got this from Pampered Chef a long time ago so I've got my flour my egg and milk mixture and my coating crumbs and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little slices of spam roll them in the flour and then in the egg mixture, and then in the crumb mixture, and then they go on the pan. The pan then goes at the 350 degree oven for like 10 minutes, and then you kind of want to turn them and do it another 10 minutes or so. And then those fingers are crunchy and delicious, and you just serve them with a cool, like, um, a pancake syrup or maple syrup, and they're going to be awesome. So I'm going to come back to you once I get all my spam cut up, and then we'll go from there. So we're back. I've cut these up and actually I did cut them a little too big. I have, I think, 12 here instead of 16, but it's not the end of the world. So let me get a fork and then I'm going to mix these in the flour and the egg mixture. And let me coat, coat that. So I'm just going to show you how I'll do these and then I'll come back and we'll do them all. All right. And then in the egg mixture and then in the coating mixture okay so there you go so you have them nicely coated both ends so they're gonna look kind of like you know those french toast sticks that's what they're gonna look like so I'm gonna go ahead and do the recipes and then I will come back to you and I wanted to show you you know if you're building a pantry spam isn't a bad thing to have on your shelf this can right here I just bought um, it's um September of 2022 and this doesn't expire until April of 25 so this is something that might last for quite some time on your shelf so there's a thought but anyway I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to coat the rest of these and then I'll come back to you when they're all on the pan and ready to go okay I'm done and looky there so that's what they all look like look like little french toast sticks all right they're going into an oven of 350 
at about 10 minutes, I will turn them and then I will let them go until they're just all just perfectly done. And then we'll be back. The 10 minutes is gone. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to turn them for you. And then we'll see how they go. Okay. These actually are a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be. So I might, I might let them go maybe 12 more minutes. Okay, I'm just going to turn these over. I don't think it's as important on this rack as it would be if they were just down um, on the pan. And you could do these in an air fryer, you know, if you wanted to. So this is all I'm going to do is turn them over and then I'm going to let them go until they're all nicely browned. And I'm not sure if using the low fat one will make a difference because there's not so much fat to go out. But we'll see. You know, you, you learn. All right, I'm going to finish turning all of these. Make sure they're all turned and ready to go. We're going to pop them back in the oven for at least 10 minutes. I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer. So I'll bring you back when they're done. The little spam bites are done, and you can see they look uh, really good. Super good. And so I've just put them on this little tray, and this would actually be something... I think would be really good maybe on the side of a plate with some scrambled eggs. Um, so it kind of gives you like that little French toast stick, but it would be the meat. So, and I've got some maple syrup. I'm going to pour in this little bowl right here. Just a little bit because we're going to do a taste test. Hey, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> you want to do a taste test? Sure. I knew you would. <laughs> All right. These are the little Spam Crunchy Bites. Okay. They're spam? Yeah. And then this is maple syrup. So, give it a try. I want to I wanna show them your response because I think, I think they look really good. They're crunchy. Different. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. You think it'd be good on, this, on a plate with like scrambled eggs or something in the morning maybe? Yeah. Something like that? Be cool, huh? Mm -hmm. There it is. All right. So, now you have another Spam Timber recipe. Whoops. Super awesome. <laughs> Super awesome. I got it. I got it. Thank you, dear. You bet. <laughs> Super awesome. And there will be a posted link for you to get this recipe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.